this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today, under much demand, I am bringing you- ooh, a creeper. I'm bringing you a round of Hunger Games. I know a lot of you love these Hunger Games uh, uh, videos, and uh, a lot of you have been telling me to do more of them, so here we go. And uh, this is one in the, the new Halo mashup pack. Uh, you may be able to hear some dramatic Halo music in the background. And this is a map that was built by um, Backwards Out of Dawn Hunger Games, created by Lost Winter and MJ, who are actually uh, in this game. So, uh, yeah, they're going to probably win <laughs> one of them, uh, just because they built the map, so they know their way around and where all the chests are and stuff. But it doesn't matter. Uh, we're here to have fun anyway. Uh, inspired by Halo. Uh, these are their channels and things. And, uh, yeah, lots of shout-outs and things like that. Shout-out to Holly, uh, who is uh, one of their sister who loves Stampy Cat. So, hello, Holly. Thank you for watching my videos. And, uh, yeah, uh, important. Uh, fully read all text if you are recording. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you can see it on your screen. <laughs> I don't want to waste any more time. Standard rules. Um, uh, follow rules. Have fun. Uh, how many rules? Come on, come on, Bungie. <laughs> don't blame Bungie. You built the map. And, look, these are the beds. And look, can you see the little Steve head in them? It's like Steve and Cryo sleeps quite cool. Anyway, everyone is down here waiting for me, so I'm not going to waste any more time. Uh, let's hop in the spawn pod and let's go. How 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 do we how do we start? Um, <laughs> what do I? Oh, is there, is there a lever there? Is that it? Oh, okay, we're up, we're up. Okay, okay, I thought we were going to drop. I guess we just get lifted up, and then we run down here. Oh, this is kind of epic with the music. It makes it all so dramatic and all steady, steady, and we're off. Are, th are these chests? Uh, I've only played in this texture pack once, so I don't really know what, what anything looks like, which might be a bit of a, a disadvantage. Or oh, their bottle of enchanting. Or oh, their pork chops, really? This texture pack is rather weird. I got a, a compass and some cookies. Uh, let's go get some more arrows and some more weird looking faith cookies. And let's get out of here. So uh, we have a, a, a two minute grace period, uh, which is good. Let me go and grab some of these potatoes from Big B. Uh, so yeah, we've got two minutes uh, time in which no one's allowed to go after us. And can I steal something here? There we go. Let's steal those arrows from Ankh. And uh, let's head inside of this uh, cave. I guess I want to try and get uh, as far away from everyone else as possible. And I think my biggest challenge is going to be this texture pack. Just because I don't know what anything looks like. But this texture pack is awesome. A lot of you uh, might not know. Uh, but before I did Minecraft videos, I used to do Halo videos. I used to be known as a Halo person. And so now the two worlds have kind of uh, collided of Halo and Minecraft. So I am uh, very, very happy. And uh, with this mashup pack, uh, you can actually... Um, uh, when you download it, you get uh, the, the texture... Uh, you get all the music, you get some skins, and uh, you also get a world download where uh, 4J have actually rebuilt uh, a load of maps from Halo, and it's really, really good, actually. And it's weird seeing a, um, it's weird seeing a, a green apple there. And uh, this map as well looks absolutely awesome, uh, considering it was pretty much uh, just built by two people, uh, just building all of the, the terrain, and that must have uh, really took a, a very, very long time. Uh, I need to get some better stuff, though. I can't just look around. I need to try and uh, get some better things. I've only got a wooden sword right now, and... And I got a lot of arrows, but I don't believe I I have a bow. And I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Sorry, it's because it's because I'm in the cold. You see, it's because it's all of this snow over here. Nothing in here. A likely story. We've got an ender pearl and some rotten flesh. I think I'm gonna uh, leave the the rotten flesh down here and let's go and head my way up around the outside. I think this is supposed to be a warthog. Uh, that's what the the armored cars are in in Halo. They're called warthogs. I think that uh, might be one of them there. And there seems to be chests all over the place, but I've not really found much good in any of them. Or oh, a potion of slowness could be uh, useful in case I'm, I'm chased down. So let me go and uh, get that at hand. Oh, I've got another potion. Oh, i got swiftness as well. Okay, that's good. So I can put them with slowness and me with swiftness. And then that way I can at least escape if someone does come after me. So that will be good. Uh, so let me go and grab that at hand. And oh look, is there someone, I think there's someone up round here somewhere. I was going to head up there myself. And armour! I, I, I totally forgot about armour. I've got like no armour on whatsoever, which is not very handy. I'm not. I'm doing rubbish so far, doing absolutely rubbish. And the problem is, uh, because I'm playing with the people that built the map, they're going to be running straight to where all of the best loot is. So <laughs> I have very low expectations. And oh, steady now. I nearly just jumped over here. That would have been bad. 
this way up. Ooh, steady, steady. There we go. And so, yeah, um, I know always have low expectations, but sometimes the better games are the ones where you don't expect to win, because then if you do win, then it's just that extra bit special. So I could hopefully get a chance. I got a gold sword. I think that might be uh, slightly better than a, a wooden sword. I always get confused between wooden and gold and... Yeah, so uh, I think I'll use the gold one anyway. It's a bit pretty. And look at it. Check out my sword. It's like a proper energy sword. I like it. Right. I want to do as few parkour jumps as possible because that's an easy way for me to fail. I can't see anyone coming behind me. I've kind of got free reign of this entire area. And there's some more rotten flesh, which uh, I might as well grab just in case I do get really hungry and have to, to resort to eating some of that. And it looks like there's a big base here. I think these are supposed to be some gun turrets. Sadly, they don't actually fire because that could have been uh, pretty useful. And let's have a look around inside here. Maybe at the top of this building, there's going to be uh, some good loot or something. Uh, I think the, the two uh, minute grace period is going to be well and truly up. Uh, so I'm going to have to have my, my wits about me now. And I found a cake. Good, I actually need some food. And night vision. That could actually come in very handy, the night vision and the cake. <laughs> so let me go and get that. Uh, hand. Let me eat some of my melon and then let me have the cake there. So if I need to very quickly get my hunger up, I can just go and eat down the, the entire cake, which gets up uh, three hunger bars as well. Uh, stop free, uh, six hunger bars, sorry. And I think it um, gives you more uh, hunger bars than anything else. So that's very handy. And oh, there's got to be something good in here. Ah, iron leggings and some potatoes. Uh, you're supposed to cook the potatoes. I think if you eat them raw, it can actually be bad for you. I think it can poison you. And you know, that's the same with uh, real life as well. So uh, I'm not going to eat them uh, until I, I really need to. So I'm doing all right now. I'm doing okay. I've got a few more uh, balls oh, enchanting. And someone's out. Take your shirt has hit the ground too hard. I don't know whether he tried doing parkour and fell off or if he was pushed off. Uh, but we've got one person down already. And there was, uh, I think there was seven of us to start the game. And so that means there's going to be six of us left still including me. So I got five opponents basically, and uh, some carrots. I'm, do I'm doing okay for food now, I guess, is the, the good thing. Just uh, everything else I'm not doing too great with. I want to find a bow. Seeing as I've got, as I've got uh, so many arrows, I think getting a bow would be very handy, because even though I haven't got a good sword, if I try and fight people at range, uh, then I still would have a, a decent chance. So let me go uh, down here and have a look around on the bottom floor. I'm already losing track of what chests I'm looking to. And there we go! I found a bow! <laughs> all you need, See, all you need to do is ask for something, and then you're going to be able to get it. So um, let's switch out my raw pork chops, and uh, let's go put my bow down there instead. And look at the bow, it's like a, a proper little gun. Look at this. Pew! <laughs> How good's that? Oh, have I wasted one? Nope, I was able to pick it back up. That's okay. Right, let's go and have a look in here then. And oh, no, is this is this not openable? I think those might be iron doors, so I can't get through them. Any more chests around here? And, oh, look, is this a cake? Ah, there we go. I can get my whole hunger uh, up here. That's very, very handy. And as I said, food isn't really uh, the major issue right now. So let's go... Uh, have a look on the other side of the house and uh, then I'm going to go for a bit of a wander and see what else I can find. Some melon slices and some chain leggings. I've already got iron leggings so I don't really need them. So let me go and uh, look around here and uh, then I'm going to go and see the, the rest of the map. I've not uh, seen much of it uh, but I've been told that it's uh, pretty massive so um, yeah I do kind of want to just to explore it and uh, see it all before I end up getting taken out. So uh, have I seen? I think I've already looked in this chest haven't I? As I said I always do end up losing track. I oh, know I haven't. And oh what's this? Oh a stone sword. This is good. This is better. Right, so let's go and get my stone sword. Why is the stone sword like orange? <laughs> it's so hard. The problem is it's going to be hard because I'm not going to know what other people have. If they run at me, I'm going to have no idea what they have until they're right in front of me. And I can see someone. Look, there's someone right in front of me over here. I don't think they've got much either. And I can sneak up on them. This is one of the map builders as well. And I think they have no idea that I'm here. There we go. I was able to sneak up on them. Oh, they were weak. They were really weak. They must have been fighting someone else. Right, let's go and grab all of their stuff quickly if I can. And let's go and try and crouch down here. I saw someone nearby. I don't know if they saw me though. Right, let's look in here. Oh, what's this? Oh, an iron sword. Wow, we. Right, okay, let's go and get the iron sword and hold that ready. And did they have any better armor that I can put on at all? I don't think they, they did. I don't really know what any of these things are, to be honest. Let's go and enchant this. So that's the slowness potion. Uh, that's the, the night vision one. I think I've got two of these. So let's uh, splash one and then put the other one spare here. And so, yeah, that's night vision. I can have a, a quick apple. And I think I'm doing okay now. I think I'm actually doing uh, pretty uh, pretty decent, actually. It's been quite a, quite a big turnaround from, from where it started. So let's go and put uh, my sword and my bow here. 
And uh, let me make sure. So that's slowness on the left, swiftness on the right. Let's let's try and remember that, shall we? And let's go on a hunt then, shall we? Let's go and see if we can take anyone out. I've actually got a little bit more confidence now. And look at this place. This place looks awesome. Looks like there's some very difficult parkour there, which I am not going to attempt to do. And I can see Big B. I'm going to go on the prowl. I saw someone else nearby, so I want to make sure I don't get ambushed. But I'm not going to be a coward this game. I'm going to go and run in for the fight. He's there hiding behind a cat. I think. I see! I can see you, Big B. Pew! Pew! <laughs> and there's someone coming up behind him as well. Or oh, is he chasing me down? Oh no, he's running away. He's running away. Right. Let's go and chase him down then. I don't think he's got some very good stuff. I don't even know if he's got a sword. I can't see him holding a sword. So let's just go and chase him down. Oh, he's turned around. Oh, is he trying to put down a cobweb? <laughs> Do you think I was born yesterday, Big Beast? That's those sort of amateur tricks are not going to work with me. Oh, no, he does have a sword, and I can see him here trying to run down here. Can I shoot some arrows down at him? See if I can just get him a little bit weak before I charge in. I think he is. he stuck under the water? I think he might be stuck down there. Yes, I was able to take him out. He got stuck in the water down there, and no one's sneaking up on me, are they? Nope. I think we're I think we're all good. There we go. That's two people uh, I've managed to, to take down already, and I got uh, a few cookies. Oh, I feel sad. Big B always loved the cookies. And now I've got them and he was sadly taken out. I say sadly taken out. I did it. Oh, he was stuck here and he couldn't get out. He was getting pushed by the water. Oh, that's awesome. Well, not for him, but for me it was. And uh, what have I got here? I got anything... Anything, but I've got loads of like bottom half items. I haven't got any helmets or anything though. So uh, yeah, let's not worry about that. And uh, let's just go after some more people. So there's someone miles over in that direction somewhere. Let's go and uh, climb up here and carry on going up this way then, shall we? Uh, but there's also the whole area over there, which I've not uh, had much of a, a look at yet. And there's more chests, but uh, to be honest, there's not much. There's not much else that I really need, to be honest. Uh, can I go anywhere up around here? I think this might be nearer to where I've started. Let's go around this way then. And so I can have a look at the map. And oh look, there is somebody right here. And I think they've just crouched. I think they saw me coming and they've just crouched down. And oh, oh look, oh there's an Enderman there. Oh, the Enderman look kind of terrifying, right? I don't want to look him in the eyes. I do not want to worry about having to deal with him. I don't think there was any easy way to get to where that person was. I think he was in that, that snowy area that I was in earlier. So let's go and uh, try and make my way down there. And I know I, I know I keep running past chests, by the way. Don't think I'm not seeing them. I'm just not boring with them for now because I want to go and uh, chase some, some people down if I can. And here we go. There's a guy up here somewhere. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to get up to them though. I could ender pearl and try and... If I ender pearl up to up here somewhere, then I, I'll be able to get an angle on them where I could maybe hurt them. I kind of just hurt myself a little bit there though doing that. So I want to uh, back off for a little bit and let my health go up. I don't know if they've seen me yet. I don't know if they have. Uh, you'd think they would have, but I'm not sure. Right, let's be careful. Let's not go and die in a silly way. Let's not have one of those games if we can. All right, there's someone there. Oh, there's a creeper behind him. Well, let's go. The creeper's going to blow him up. If I push him back into the creeper, and then the creeper can get it. Oh, there we go. I just killed him before the creeper came. Right, let's go and take out the creeper then if I can. <laughs> this person had like nothing good, really. I think I think he had a helmet down there. I think that might have been. And so that's good because I do need a helmet. Oh, it's a, it's a leather cap. <laughs> there we go. Look at me. <laughs> Look at Space Stampy Cat. <laughs> oh, I like like it. First cat to space I was, right. I think there's only, I think there might only be one person left. See, I told you this is the perfect time of hunger, type of Hunger Games where you think you're going to do rubbish, but then you end up doing well. So let's go and have a, whoa, another night vision potion, which brights up the sky like crazy. And uh, let's just go through this tunnel here and uh, see if we can go and track down that final person. It's me and Ank. It's me against Ank. Ooh, this is interesting. Ank, uh, as I'm sure a lot of you know, is one of my uh, best friends on Xbox. So uh, it's kind of fun that it's down to just us and I might actually uh, go and just try and throw away some of the stuff that I don't need because it's kind of I feel like it's kind of weighing me down a little bit so uh, let's just go I'm not supposed to be able to use maps so let's go and uh, throw all of this stuff away and hopefully Ank's not gonna uh, come across this chest and find it all uh, is there anything worth using I've only got 11 arrows left so I'm gonna try and uh, use them a bit more careful but I think I'm using uh, all of the the best things that I could so I'm getting a bit lost in this tunnel to be honest uh, let's go up to the the top up here I guess uh, getting the high ground is normally the best thing to do because then you can uh, look over the entire map so let's go and try and dodge through all of these uh, I think they're cobwebs these and oh an iron helmet it was definitely worth coming up here uh, to upgrade my helmet and <laughs> look at me now check me out <laughs> Oh dear, my name is Stampy Cat and I'm from space. Right, let's go Let's go and try and find where we're anchors then. Uh, out of bounds, falling rocks. Oh god, okay. Um, 
Let's let's risk it then, shall we? Oh, let there better not be a trap down here or something. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. If after all this I'm taken out by some silly trap, then I wouldn't be happy. <laughs> the map's massive though. I I, I didn't realise it was gonna be quite this big. And I've got fire resistance. I doubt I'm going to end up needing that, but I could do. I can't, I'm kind of curious to see what Ank has, to be honest, because I am quite confident, because I think having the Iron Sword is very good, and I think that's all the stuff I just dumped. Yeah, but he could have something, uh, you know, just as good or better, so uh, I can't be complacent. Uh, let's go back round to... Um that area I was going to go to uh, until I saw take your shirt and went a different direction and just see if I can uh, find him somewhere around there. I haven't seen Ank uh, once yet all game, so he could be uh, literally anyway, uh, anywhere. But if I keep going, I think I needed to go down here somewhere. I guess I could just end a pearl down to there, I guess. And then if I keep going this way, uh, then hopefully I'm going to run into him. I might actually uh, eat my cake now just to get my uh, hunger fully back up. Uh, ready for the fight. Do I have any more food? Uh, I guess I'll, I'll have the, the potatoes if I uh, if I need to. I am starting to run out uh, with food a little bit. And where is Ank? Where is he hiding? I am going to go and track him down though. And now here he is. I can see him. He's way off in the distance, but I can see a little bit of a gamer tag over there. Oh no, he's, he's right here. He's right by me. And he doesn't seem to have that good stuff. He doesn't seem to have uh, that much more armor than what I've got. Uh, but I've no idea what sword he's got or anything, uh, so I'm gonna be careful still. And I don't know whether whether he knows where I am. I think he has seen me. The way he's running <laughs> so endlessly uh, makes me think that he may have seen me. So what I might do is stay here for a bit, get my hunger up, and then put my speed potion on. And look at me go! Look how fast I am whizzing by. And where is he? I think he's hiding around here somewhere. Oh, he tried to ambush me, but I ran right past him. Right, I've smashed him with slowness, and now I can keep knocking him back. Pew! I can keep using my pew. Pew gun, right? Oh, he's hiding around the tree. He's got to be weak. I got him. I got a good shot on him. I don't know what sword he's got. I think is that is that a wooden one, maybe, or a gold one? And there we go! I managed to take him out. I was the victor. <laughs> Who would have thought? I think. I think I took everyone out. I think, apart from oh, hello, Ank. Uh, hello, Ank. How you doing? I think I took everyone out. I think. No, no, because take your shirt. I think he died, but he came back in the game anyway because he died from full damage. So I think I might have done it. I think I was Stampy Cat, the Star Destroyer. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed playing that game. Uh, hopefully uh, you all enjoyed uh, watching the, the video as well. And so I want to say uh, a big thank you to everyone who played in this game with me, uh, as well as the uh, the map builders as well who were in the game. And uh, in the description, uh, there's going to be a link to everybody's channels uh, that was playing in the game, if they are YouTubers, and uh, also a download to the map if you want to download and uh, play this map yourself. And uh, the best way to play it is, of course, with the, the Halo mashup pack. Uh, which gives you the texture and the uh, the music and all of the, the other stuff that I mentioned earlier. But sadly, that's the end of this video here. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!